Hey guys, I'm really, really excited for this video today. It's just going to be a book review, but I finished this book last night, so it's probable that I'm still on that sort of book hangover that happens after you read a really good book, but I thought that I should capture that energy and all the feelings that I have about this book and I should just review it right away. And the book is Last Days of Summer by Steve Kluger. Oh my gosh. This is one of the best books I've read in a long time and it's definitely a new favorite. For the life of me, I don't know where I heard about this book. It's about a boy who's like 12, his father is absent, it takes place in like the 1940s, so it's historical fiction. This boy is like sort of ridiculously obnoxious, really outgoing. He writes a letter to his favorite baseball player, Charlie Banks, and he is basically pestering him with these letters. It's an epistolary book. The whole book is letters and newspaper clippings and ticket stubs, and there's barely any like expository prose at all. But for some reason, I connected so much with this relationship between this 12 year old boy and this baseball player because it starts out as this totally ridiculous pestering and this irreverent just stop writing me leave me alone and it develops into this friendship that was just so real to me. So you can see here the sort of format of the letters and the different notes and things so it was a really quick read it's like 350 ish pages but it goes really fast because of the format that it's in I was just really excited to share this book with you guys because I had never heard of it it's not something I would normally pick up I know almost nothing about baseball and there's a lot of talk about baseball it didn't take away from me understanding the story although I'm sure if you like baseball you would like it even more and yeah I just really 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 would encourage you guys to check this book out because it made me laugh out loud a lot and it made me cry and I know that's like a cliche thing to say about a book is that you laughed and you cried but I actually did and I don't usually laugh and cry at all when I read so it really really moved me and that's just about all I can say about it so check it out yeah I guess I'll see you guys later bye